Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, just how big is the universe? Is it infinite? Or does it have an edge? What lies beyond the stars we can see? Everything you've ever known, every person, place, and memory, exists on one small planet in one solar system, in a galaxy of billions. And yet, our galaxy is just one of countless others, stretching far beyond what the naked eye can perceive. But here's the catch. When we talk about the universe, we aren't just talking about stars and galaxies. We're talking about something far more complex, a vast and dynamic entity that's constantly expanding. Understanding its true size requires grappling with concepts like the observable universe, the part we can see, and the mind-bending, reality of cosmic expansion. In this video, we'll dive into the biggest questions about the cosmos. What exactly is the observable universe, and how does it define what we can and cannot see? How do scientists even begin to measure something so unfathomably large? And perhaps the most mind-blowing question of all, could the universe truly be infinite? So buckle up. We're about to take a journey to the very edge of what we know and beyond. Let's explore the staggering enormity of the universe. The observable universe is a fascinating concept that helps us grasp the sheer scale of what we can see in the cosmos. At its core, the observable universe refers to the portion of the universe from which light has had time to reach Earth since the beginning of cosmic history, the Big Bang. This means that the observable universe is essentially a bubble of visibility, determined not only by the speed of light, but also by the age of the universe itself. The relationship between the age of the universe and the observable universe is key to understanding this idea. Scientists estimate that the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. Therefore, we can observe objects that emitted light as far back as 13.8 billion years ago. However, this distance isn't as straightforward as it seems. While it might sound like the observable universe would have a radius of 13.8 billion light years, there's an additional factor to consider. The universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang. This expansion changes everything. The galaxies and other objects that emitted light 13.8 billion years ago have not remained in the same position. Instead, they've been carried farther away by the stretching fabric of space-time. Because of this, the current distance to the farthest objects we can observe is far greater than 13.8 billion light years. In fact, Due to this ongoing expansion, the diameter of the observable universe is estimated to be a staggering 92 billion light years. It's important to emphasize, however, that the observable universe is not the entirety of the universe. Beyond, the horizon of what we can see lies a vast, unknown expanse that may be infinitely larger. We are limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe leaving much of the cosmos a mystery. The observable universe, then, is just the tip of the iceberg, a window into a realm that continues to defy imagination. Measuring the universe is no small feat. Unlike distances on Earth, where meters and kilometers suffice, the cosmic scale demands entirely different units. Astronomers rely on measurements like light years, which represent the distance light travels in a year, about 9.46 trillion kilometers. For smaller scales within our solar system, they use astronomical units, AU, where one AU is the average distance between Earth and the Sun, roughly 150 million kilometers. These specialized units allow scientists to quantify the incomprehensible distances that define the universe. To measure such vast expanses, Scientists use a variety of ingenious methods, each tailored to different scales and phenomena. One of a, the most significant tools is the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMB, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang. This ancient light 
still detectable today, offers a snapshot of the early universe and provides crucial clues about its age, geometry, and overall structure. By studying tiny variations in the CMB, scientists can infer distances and gain insights into the universe's expansion. Another key method involves standard candles, such as Type 1a supernovae. These are exploding stars with a remarkably consistent peak brightness. By comparing their observed brightness with their intrinsic brightness, astronomers can calculate their distance from Earth. This technique has been instrumental in charting the expansion of the universe and even led to the discovery of dark energy. A more recent approach uses Baryonic Acoustic Oscillations, BAO, subtle, large-scale patterns in the distribution of galaxies. These patterns are relics of sound waves that rippled through the early universe, and their regular spacing provides a cosmic ruler for measuring distances. Together, these methods form a multifaceted toolkit for unraveling the universe's size. Despite these advancements, challenges remain. Different methods sometimes yield slightly varying results, prompting ongoing debates among scientists. For instance, discrepancies in the measurement of the Hubble constant, the rate of the universe's expansion, highlight the complexity of the task. But this is precisely what makes the field so exciting. Ongoing research continues to refine our understanding. Missions like the Planck Space Telescope, which produced the most detailed map of the CMB to date, and cutting-edge studies on gravitational waves are pushing the boundaries of what we know. Each new discovery inches us closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. How vast is the universe we call home? The shape of the universe is one of the most profound questions in cosmology, as it determines not just the structure of the cosmos, but also its ultimate fate. There are three main possibilities for the universe's shape, each offering a unique vision of the cosmos. In a flat universe, space would extend infinitely in all directions, resembling a two-dimensional plane stretched into three dimensions. This means that parallel lines would never meet, and the rules of Euclidean geometry, like the angles of a triangle adding up to 180 degrees, would hold true on cosmic scales. A closed universe, on the other hand, would be curved like the surface of a sphere. In this scenario, the universe is finite but without edges, much like how you can travel indefinitely on the surface of a globe. This curvature would cause parallel lines to eventually converge, and triangles would have angles summing to more than 180 degrees. The third possibility is an open universe, shaped like a saddle. In this case, space would also be infinite, but it would curve in such a way that parallel lines would diverge, and triangles would have angles adding up to less than 180 degrees. The shape of the universe isn't just an abstract curiosity. It's closely tied to its density and expansion rate. If the density of matter and energy in the universe is exactly the critical density, the universe would be flat. If the density is higher, the gravitational pull of all that mass would curve the O universe into a closed shape. Conversely, a lower density would result in an open universe. These factors also influence the universe's ultimate destiny, determining whether it will expand forever, collapse back on itself, or settle into a stable state. Current measurements including data from the cosmic microwave background radiation, suggests that the universe is most likely flat, with an astonishing degree of precision. However, this doesn't necessarily mean it's infinite. A flat universe could still have a complex geometry that allows it to be finite yet unbounded, much like the two-dimensional surface of a torus or donut in three dimensions. Despite these findings, there's still much we don't know. The shape of the universe remains a topic of lively debate among scientists, with subtle uncertainties in measurements and alternative theories keeping the discussion open. Whether the cosmos is flat, closed, or open, 
The quest to understand its shape is a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the grand design of the universe. Beyond the observable universe lies an enigmatic realm we can only theorize about, the non-observable universe. This refers to the regions of space so distant that light from them hasn't had enough time to reach us, even over the universe's 13.8 billion year history. As vast as the observable universe may seem, it's only a small bubble within a much hope larger, possibly infinite expanse. The idea that the non-observable universe could dwarf the observable one is rooted in the theory of cosmic inflation. Inflation describes a brief but incredibly rapid expansion that occurred in the universe's infancy, within the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang. During this period, space itself expanded faster than the speed of light stretching the universe to unfathomable proportions. This early expansion would have pushed vast regions of space far beyond our observational reach, creating a cosmos that is far larger than what we can currently see. Based on models of inflation, some scientists estimate that the entire universe might be at least 250 times larger than the observable universe. To put that into perspective, while the observable universe has a diameter of about 92 billion light-years, the total universe could span over 7 trillion light-years, a size so immense it's almost impossible to comprehend. However, these estimations are inherently speculative. While inflation theory is well supported by evidence like the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background radiation, the precise details of inflation how long it lasted, how much the universe expanded, and what might lie beyond are still subjects of active research. Theories about the size of the non-observable universe are based on mathematical models and extrapolations, leaving much room for debate and discovery. Exploring The non-observable universe is like peering into a mystery we can never fully solve. While we may never observe these hidden regions directly, their existence challenges us to rethink the limits of what we know and pushes the boundaries of our understanding of the cosmos. It's a humbling reminder that no matter how far we look, there will always be more to the universe than meets the eye. The universe is a place of staggering scale and mystery. While we've developed methods to estimate the size of the observable universe, an immense sphere 92 billion light-years across, the true size of the cosmos remains unknown. It could be finite but unbounded, or it might stretch on infinitely. The regions beyond our observational limits, shaped by events like cosmic inflation, hint at a reality far larger and more complex than we can imagine. This vastness is both humbling and awe-inspiring. It reminds us of how small we are in the grand cosmic tapestry, yet also how incredible it is that we can even begin to comprehend the universe's immensity. Scientists continue their quest to measure, map, and understand the cosmos, uncovering its secrets one discovery at a time.